This video is something of a sequel from my last video in that we'll be talking about crossfires, but we'll be talking about the B site instead of the A site. Um, the B site is different from the A site in a couple of ways. One of them is that it's much more common to have one player on B than it is to have one player on A. So these setups are less common. However, they might actually be more important because you're also less often, or it's less frequent to have an op on, on this site. So these crossfires can be way more useful. There are, it's similar to A in that there are two entrances, um, cat and then apps, but cat is more analogous to connector. And if you've got two people on B, um, generally you don't need to worry about catwalk because the mid player, window player, will have top mid on lock with an op. So at the very least, if they rush cat, we'll have like six seconds of warning before they're uh, within firing range. So at the beginning of the round, I'll call 2B or 1B. And if I call 2B, I will also call uh, what, we're, what we'll be watching. We will either be watching um, the barred window, the open window, or the balcony slash fan area. Those are the options. Um, there aren't as um, there aren't as versatile of spots to crossfire on B uh, because they basically all come from sight. There isn't the triple and then the the palace like under under palace area. There's base. You've got van, balcony, sight. That's oh, and uh, cat. That's all you've got. So if you're gonna hold the barred area. You'll prob probably be holding an area like this or this. Those are basically your only options. Th this spot isn't really useful for a crossfire because you can really only shoot someone in the right half of that window, as you can see from my spread. You don't really shoot people there. Let's see if I can get back up here twice in a row. Yeah, like, let's see if I can. Yeah, I really can't. I, I can hit it, but I suspect it's going through, yeah, it's going through the wood and the wall, so it's not gonna do as much damage. So you'll be playing here and here. I, th I considered being playing here, but I, I changed, my, changed my mind about that because if they jump past, they can get to the second window and shoot you before you're able to uh, fall away if you, if you don't immediately run or like fire one bullet and run. Uh, so that's that's how we're gonna set up for the first window. Well, I guess you could also do here and here, that's also an option. So if you wanna play arches from cat, that'd be fine. I would beware of smokes coming over. Uh, second thing is if you wanna watch the balcony, you're particularly waiting for them to jump, or sorry, if you wanna watch the open window, you're waiting for them to jump out the window. So I'll play in jail, and the cat player will play in get right. So you watch for them to jump out, and you shoot them as they come out. Or if they jump out to van, then you shoot them as they come out. It's pretty simple. Um, it's also really good to pair it. Yes, I did hit it. It's good to pair that with a Molotov onto the balcony so that it sort of encourages them to come out the window if they want to come out or if they don't want to take 50 damage. That's the way to do it. Um, the last setup is if we want to hold the balcony. And this one gets a little more interesting because you have the option of uh, holding, holding this angle. So if we're going to hold the balcony, the cat, the cat player is going to be the one pushing up if you're going to push up. So you'll be chilling here and then I might be like in van, and then if I get mollied, I'll try and get get to this position, so I can still help. But generally, you can play positions like this. That's what bench is for, because you don't want to be taking this fight. But you do kind of want to take this fight, maybe this fight. But any, um, either of those are good to help out a guy push that balcony. And the last thing I want to talk about is if I say 2B and push B. 
which is less common than pushing A. However, it has, well, first of all, it can really disrupt a B execute. That's the main problem, the, the main good thing about it. And the other thing is it can also disrupt mid control because if we flank, um, if we leave one guy in apartments and the other guy flanks top mid, you can kind of, um, you can kind of crunch down on the mid control from all fronts and kind of, you can at least get a kill and then come back apartments uh, and save the man advantage. And so what that requires is first things first, um, balcony guy, when I come out of um, market, I'll, I'll throw that molly. I'll throw that molly and then I'll jump up and then I'll jump up here. Cat player, you will go van, and you will throw that, and then that flash, and then you will follow me, preferably holding an angle like this. And so as you, as my molly's fading, and as your molly lands, and then as your flash lands, I'll turn, and then I will, um, here I'll show you another smoke I can throw. Let me make sure that lands correctly. Yep. Lands right back here. Bounce is kind of a lot, but what you can do. There was a better one, but it doesn't work anymore since the skybox has changed. So let's say I throw. I throw that, and then I jump, and then I jump up. So what you do, you come here, throw that. My Molotov fades, so you throw your own, and then you throw a flash with it, and you come up to help. Um, I, when you throw your my flash and molly, I start walking up. This is smoked off. That's where your flash popped. So then I can check this. I can even throw my own pop flash. And then if, as this smoke fades, I can do one of two things. I can drop my own smoke or I can just walk, walk through it or walk up to it and try and take duels. Um, and if they have any cat and then and then we can just chill in apartments we can take control of this whole area and then hang out and then play retake on a because we'll have a relatively fast ramp flank um, if we take a as long as we have a kit if we don't have a kit we'll probably just have to go for exits but if we don't have a kit and it's like a pistol round if they decide to go for a b rush we'll destroy them which is fun i love shutting down uh, B rushes. It's like the best thing about playing the site. Um, so yeah, on B, we're either going to hold the barred window, the open window, the balcony, or we're going to push it. We're going to do one of those things. Um, I guess the last answer, or the last thing we might do is I might just say 1A and then have you just run cat right away. Especially if you want to op whoever we end up getting. You want to op and then hold an angle like this if they've been throwing top mid smoke. A lot of times you can get a kill, a free one, like this, and then come back and go A or whatever. But that's how you play. That's that's how you play with your team on CT, B side of Mirage.